Hello and welcome to this introductory tutorial for Nest Desktop. My name is Jessica and I will be your guide through this tutorial. Nest Desktop is a web-based graphical user interface for the Nest Simulator. If you are working with Nest Simulator, you would create networks by writing Python scripts, but with Nest Desktop, you create a network graphically. It's designed as a teaching tool to better illustrate how neural networks are put together. The concept of Nest Desktop consists of three steps of a virtual experiment, including neuronal and network construction, simulation, and activity analysis. Today we are going to show these basic steps to build a neural network in Nest Desktop. So let's begin. Initially, we start with the construction of a single neuron. Here is the start page, where you can load a pre-existing project or start a new one. Today we will select a new project for this tutorial. This opens the network editor. When we open a new project, we see the network editor area is empty. On the right side, we find icons where you can adjust and control numerous network and simulation settings. If we click on the network icon, we see an additional panel appear which will display the settings. So let's create a neuron. We'll go over to the network editor area and with a right mouse click, we see a circular panel appear where we can choose from Neuron, Stimulator, or Recorder. We first select Neuron, and a Neuron node appears in the editor. If you look over at the right panel, the default Neuron model type has been automatically picked, with a colored toolbar and a slider for adjusting the population size. If we click on the Neuron name, a menu opens with the Neuron's parameters. We can select the parameters here we want to edit. For our tutorial, we will select the spike threshold and close the pop-up. Now in the neuron card, we see a slider for the spike threshold was added. For this tutorial, we are going to change the population to 10, but you can use either the slider or change the value of the number directly. Next, we return our cursor to the network editor area to create a stimulus device. Again, we right click and then select a stimulator but this time we want to change the type of stimulator. On the right panel, we first click on the model name and we can see in this menu, a drop-down icon beside the model name. Here, we can pick a different stimulus device. In our case, we want to choose noise generator. We can now choose those parameters we want to adjust. For our case, the mean and standard deviation of the noise current. We will set the mean to 300 and the standard deviation to 50. Now let's connect the stimulator by hovering over the node and left clicking on the circle with the little plus sign that appears and drag the connecting line over to the neuron. With another left click on the net neuron, we connect the two nodes together. In order to see the activity of the neuron population, we need to add a recording device, in our case, a voltmeter which is the default recorder. We create it the same way as before, right-click and connect to the neuron. The recording device will record the membrane potentials of the neuron population. Now that we've finished our simple network, let's save our project by going to the top left of the screen and select the project icon. Type the name you want to save your project as. Note that the Save button stores the project locally in a browser cookie, but an export is also possible. Click the project button to close that pane. Now we have a visual representation of the network. Let's take a look at the code. As we created our network, Nest Desktop automatically generated Python code, which will be sent to the Nest Simulator. If we click the code icon on the rightmost panel, we see the PyNest code. The simulation script consists of several blocks. The first block creates the nodes and the selected models and parameters that we have set. In the next block, the nodes are connected, a smaller block with the simulation, and finally, with the activity from all recorders is fetched. And that's it. We've done the basic steps of a network construction. Finally, we proceed to the next step, the analysis of the neuronal activity. Once the network construction is finished, we can click on the simulate button located in the top right corner. After a successful simulation, Nest Desktop switches from network editor to the activity explorer. Here we see fluctuated traces of the membrane potential recorded from our neuron population. On the right side, we can open the activity controller. With a left click on the add panel button, we can insert more panels. For example, a histogram of the analog signals. 
in the Activity Explorer, we can also interactively zoom and drag the chart. Finally, we can review the statistics using the stats icon on the right panel to analyze the neuronal activity, here the mean and standard deviation of the membrane potentials. In this video tutorial, we learned the steps of a typical virtual experiment with Nest. Now you're ready to build networks and explore the activity with Nest Desktop. If you want to find out more, please visit our documentation. Thanks for watching.